called Frank's Disney
forwards, amen? And how many know we're going forwards with passion and with life and with faith, amen? We're going forward our heart and our decision. I have decided, amen, to be a follower of Jesus, amen? And make a decision right now, I'm going to be a good follower of Jesus. I'm going to be a passionate follower of Jesus. I'm going to be, what do we call it around here? Come on, everybody, help me. How about a soul on fire? Come on, let's make a decision. Lord, we're going to make a decision right now that we're going to be on fire for you, God. Thank you, Lord. Jesus, the love for the cross, 
the love for your return, Lord. I pray that it would be fanned this morning. In Jesus' great name over all of our lives, I pray that. We sing that song on fire for God. The only way I can understand on fire for God is to live for one. Amen. Just to live for Him. You can't please God and please people. We can only please one. Amen. And I'm understanding more and more that the way I can really please God is really on my knees. It's in a place of reverence. It's in a place of awe. It's in a place of, of brokenness. It's in a place really on my knees. A place of prayer where I communicate with God and I have a relationship with God. So Father, we just thank you for this time. As our prayer is to be on fire, I pray that we would be able to just draw close to you in this time. In Jesus' name.
the years and years alone. So we take this time together as a body of believers just to recommit and dedicate ourselves to you, Jesus. We just thank you for your presence, Lord. You're a place of refuge. You're a place of shelter. Lord, you guard us. You keep us. We thank you for it, Lord. Lord, we're here to confess our wanderings. We've wandered many times away from you. Lord, we don't want to wander anymore. We're here to just say, God, I am yours. I want to be close to you, God.
that you're a great God. You're a great Heavenly Father. You love us with an everlasting love, and we really do belong to you. The devil can't snatch us out of your hand because we belong to you. We are yours. We believe in you, God. Because we believe in you, we're just here to say God work. We're here to be worshipers. We're here to give ourselves everything.
You're all together wonderful. You're all together beautiful to us, Lord. Lord, you're all together worthy of our praise. We're here to worship you and you alone, Lord. So we offer ourselves right now. Everything that we are, Lord God, in this house to honor you, to worship you. I thank you for your presence. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Lord, by the power of your Holy Spirit, we're changed into your image and into your likeness. So I just thank you, Lord, that by your Spirit, by the power of your words spoken into our spirit, Lord, we can obey you and in obedience, Lord, enter into your kingdom and in obedience glorify you. So I pray in faith, I pray in courage, I pray in life and hope over every heart that's here this morning in Jesus' name, the hope of God the love of God, the encouragement of the Holy Spirit, Lord, that we would worship you like never before, simply giving our lives in obedience to you. In Jesus' name. Amen, saints. Everything that we are and everything that we do, it really is an act of worship. We're here to worship the Lord our God. Amen. We're not here to worship one another. We're not here to worship the music. We're not here to worship anything other than the Lord Jesus Christ. And so I want to invite you. I believe that the Lord Jesus is coming back very soon. And now is not a time to neglect or to despise the salvation of God. Now is the day of salvation. Today is the day of salvation. Today is the day to say, I do belong to Jesus. I'm not going to doubt my faith anymore. I'm going to build my faith. By becoming obedient. By doers of the word. Right Steve? Not merely hearers. Steve prayed that this morning. I walked into the prayer closet and prayed. Steve was praying. I prayed that we would be God. Not just merely hearers who delude themselves. But doers of the word of God. As you're a doer, you're proving yourself a, a worshiper of God. Amen. So you're going to give to the Lord this morning. I just encourage you to be to be a giver. And whatever the Holy Spirit says to you, you give back to Him because He's given so much to you this morning. Amen. Can I get somebody to help me with the offering? Thank you. Jeff's going to pass the offering basket around. Just again, make it a worshipful time.
more than anything. More than that. More than material possessions, more than even the air that we breathe. I believe when somebody has encountered the Holy Spirit and encountered salvation, I believe when they've tasted of the goodness of God, nothing else. Amen. Might say nothing else. Amen. Nothing else will cut it. Nothing else will cut the Holy Spirit and His work in my life. I know what it is to have Him, to experience Him. And for Him to do great and mighty things in my life, I know you have experienced that too. And so when God does things in our life, He expects us to continue to honor Him the rest of our days. Amen. Even more passionately, more lovingly, when God does something, He expects us to love Him back. Amen. That's what 1 John says. It says, we love. We're learning to love God. But I can only learn to love God because He first loved me. He first loved me. So every time I experience God's great love and salvation, our heart is just, God, I'm going to love you back. How do we love Him? Through obedience. That's it. And our obedience is increasing. Amen? How many believe your obedience is increasing? Yes. That's what we want here. That's the atmosphere and the culture that we're here. How many know ritual and just going through religious motions doesn't really please God? That doesn't please God. Your sacrifices, your all, what, what, you're, what you're doing, that really doesn't matter. That doesn't please me. What pleases me is a broken and contrite spirit, a heart that says, oh God, I'm going to obey you, and here's my life. And when you come to that place, I, I promise you, the Holy Spirit of God will do extraordinary things through your life. He'll do great things. And experience, it's experienced right here. I believe God's doing a lot of things in all of our lives. I can see it. I can see it in all of our lives. It may not be, you know, this big extravagant, you know, thing out there, but it's, it's a big extravagant thing right in your spirit, right in your heart. And that's where it matters. One of these days, Everything that you've done right here is going to come to light when Jesus Christ comes back. Yes. That should put the fear of the Lord in all of us. Amen. Every secret motive, everything that we've ever done will come to light, the Bible says. For us believers, thank God we're covered in the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. And everything we're doing now is worship and obedience to the Lord. He's saying... I'm going to reward you for that. That glass of water, that money that you gave, your time spent, your obedience to me and to my spirit, everything that you're doing. Listen, I'm not taking into an account your sins anymore. Those are washed away from you. But now everything that you do for me, for my name and for my glory, I'm going to yes. reward you. I'm going to reward you. And believe it, come that day when Jesus Christ comes back, it'll all be worth it. Everybody say it's going to be worth it. It's going to be worth it all. So be encouraged, saints. You just keep keep loving God with all your heart, soul, strength, and mind. Amen? Let's turn around and greet each other in the name of the Lord this morning. Amen. Love you guys.